Hey YouTube, this is Joe from the Northeastern Native Plant Digest bringing you another video here on a nice hot September afternoon. Uh, so I want to do a video on this plant. I should have done it earlier in the season, but I figured it's better late than never. Uh, and that's Anise Hyssop, or Agostache funiculum. Uh, this particular plant is a member of the mint family, uh, and it's a, a very good plant for pollinators. This plant has been blooming literally for probably almost two months. Uh, there's it's it's loaded it's usually loaded with uh, bumblebees honeybees uh, solitary bees I can see right now there's a silver spotted skipper on it uh, but this is a this is a wonderful plant to have in your garden uh, this thing will reseed itself it's pretty hardy pretty drought tolerant I haven't watered this thing at all this year and it looks great uh, like I said here we are at the end of September and it still uh, has a lot of activity on it they're easy to transplant uh, like I said, they do self-seed, but I transplant them. Uh, the, the, the pretty viable, they're pretty hardy to transplant. I've never had a problem transplanting them. Uh, they don't do well. They don't do really well in, in the shade. They, they like the full sun. Uh, I have some over on, on the uh, east side of my house and uh, gets a lot of shade over there. And they, they do grow, but they're a lot more leggy. They're not as thick and as full, and the flowers don't seem to be as... Uh, robust as these uh, you can you know you can pull these off and smell them very aromatic leaves uh, they have square stems like all members of the mint family so that's one way you can tell them apart they really have a wonderful smell to them you can make a tea from the leaves you can dry them and make a tea from them there's the silver spotted skipper he just landed now he's gone <laughs> but uh, I love the, the color of these plants and they look really nice. You compare these, uh, the Black Eyed Susans are pretty much almost done here, but uh, they look really nice paired with uh, Black Eyed Susans. They look really nice paired with, uh, with butterfly weed, oranges and yellows. They're gonna look really great in the garden with those. Uh, there's also a chartreuse uh, variety. I have some over here. Uh, they're kind of taking a hit right now on this side. This is the west side of the house. gets a lot more sun. I, I did water these just because it's been so dry here. But uh, these these attract a lot of pollinators too. Uh, and these are really pretty. You can pair these with uh, some plants that have a lot of uh, dark green foliage. They bring a lot, a little pop of color. Now this whole bed I did a video on earlier. It's really looking pretty rough. The liatris and all that's done. Most of Black Eyed Susans are done. I'm going to be redoing this bed. My initial view, my initial vision for this bed was just to be butterfly weed. Uh, I'm going to do butterfly weed and lead plant. So, uh, and, uh, so I'm going to be redoing this bed, pulling everything out and transplanting a lot of stuff. So I'm going to have, I want to have the orange butterfly weeds popping with the purples of the lead plant, uh, the shrub variety, or not the shrub variety, the, the little, the little woody shrub variety, not the tall shrub variety. I'll do a video on that later. But even the lead plant has a little bit of orange in it, so you're going to get a really nice combination of oranges and yellows. But uh, there you go. If you're looking for an, a real hardy plant that's low maintenance, uh, easy to care for, has a wonderful fragrance to it, and is uh, you know very attractive to bees and stuff like that, get out and get some hyssop, plant it in your garden, and uh, you'll be happy you did. So have a great day. Talk to you later. Like, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Share these videos if you like them. And I'll be back in a few days with some more videos. Goodbye.